Siggy here for G3 Skis, and let's talk a little bit about ski construction today. When you walk into a store and ask for a ski product, you typically end up with seeing this. I think today we want to break this up and see what's inside. Most high-end skis these days come in a technology that's called sandwich technology. And much like the sandwich you eat, it means that the ski is consisting of different layers of product, much like this one here. You could unlay it, much like you would put build a sandwich. The most bottom part of the ski is typically the ski base. Next to the base you would find the ski edges. The next element you'll find in ski construction is barely noticeable here and that is because we are talking of very thin layers of laminates here. Now there's different sorts of laminates that can be used in skis. The main differentiation is metals and non-metals. For non-metals uh, you will typically find uh, fabrics and fabrics that are used in ski constructions are typically either carbon or glass fiber. The center element when uh, thinking of the sandwich again is the wood core. A lot of people talk of vertically laminated wood cores with, which means that there are veneers of wood that are actually standing in your skis and then cut so they form the wood core. Other than wood cores, there are some synthetic cores that can be used, such as ISO cores or rather foam cores, but most companies in high-end product these days use wood cores. Talking about sidewall materials, the main material used in sidewalls these days is a material called ABS. ABS is a functional plastic. It is fairly damp. It is not very brittle, uh, which makes it very suitable for ski construction. A newer material used in ski construction is polyurethane sidewalls. Uh, these are inserted into the core in a, in a liquid state. The core has a camber milled. The camber is filled with liquid polyurethane and uh, has certain advantages over ABS sidewalls. The last and uppermost layer when thinking of our ski sandwich is a fabric called the top sheet. The top sheet in this form is a very thin plastic sheet. It basically serves two functions. First of all, it carries the graphic, the ski graphic, and second, it's a protection sheet to the ski. To wrap this up, what we've seen is that there is a wide use of materials, from fabrics to metals to wood cores, different sidewalls materials. All these materials combined determine the ski performance. Most importantly, they determine the ski flex, uh, the ski stiffness, and also the torsional capabilities of your product. According to what the ski is supposed to do, the ski engineer will combine one or many of these materials into his construction. He has to determine the height of the ski, which is uh, quintessential for the ski flex, and then select the materials according to what the ski really wants to do. And uh, despite all this looking so easy, this is where the magic truly happens.